UFC 286, Edwards vs. Usman 3 takes place this weekend, and I'm going to go through the full card breakdown and in detail predictions. Sorry if, I'm, if you're hearing rains and, out, and cars outside. My house is getting renovated right now. You just, car, you just heard a car turn on outside. I'm sorry for the sound. Ignore it. You'll hear my voice instead in the predictions. We start with the early prelim opener of Veronica Hardy. Good one, uh, topology, um, versus Juliana Miller, um, Veronica Macedo is her actual name, um, I'm gonna go for Juliana Miller, I think she gets this one done, I think she gets this one done, uh, by TKO in round two, I think she's pretty good, Veronica Macedo, I'm just gonna call her that, um, yeah, she just isn't good, and she's taking, she's had a whole, she's had over three years off. Simple as, Juliana Miller's young and hungry, and she just won the Ultimate Fighter as well, 26 years old, which is pretty good, and won by ground and pound against Brogan Walker pretty easily, she kind of, it was back and forth, but she dominated that fight with the grappling, and I think she'll win against Veronica Macedo, and get this one done pretty easily, we move on, up the card, Jai Herbert versus Ludovic Klein, I'm going to be taking Jai Herbert here as the underdog over Ludovic Klein, I just don't see what's special in Ludovic Klein. Like, he's good and he has power in his hands, and I get it. I 100% get it. Okay, he has power, and Jai Herbert's chinny. And he lost it to Puria, a fight where he was looking good in that one. I know short notice, but he was looking pretty good in that one. I just don't see him KOing Jai Herbert. You might ask yourself why. He couldn't KO Devontae fucking Smith. Who's chinny as well. Equally as chinny as Jai Herbert. They have around the same chin level. Let's be real. Honestly, Smith's a bit chinny. Smith's probably a bit chinnier than Jai Herbert as well. He lost to Nate Landwehr. Gassed himself out in that fight. Going for a finish. Mike Trezano just picked at him at range. Trezano is not really Trezano's style. And Trezano is not really that good of, of a fighter himself. And he beat uh, Ludovic Klein. I'm going to go for Jai Herbert, point at it, uh, just ranging at him with jabs over three rounds. He beat Kyle Nelson. I know it's Kyle Nelson, but still, he went to a draw with Duhu Joy, where he should have lost that fight, but he still made it competitive. And he was looking good against Tapuria. And he beat Kamal Worthy by KO. And I know he lost to Mikano, and he does have a grappling weakness, but Klein ain't going to shoot takedowns. We know this now. He looked good against Mason Jones, but come on. You know, come on. Look good against Mason Jones, but that fight was just back and forth. I can't really remember what happened there. He didn't do much there against Mason Jones. I'll go with uh, Jai Herbert, though, getting this one done over Ludovic Klein. We move on up the card. 30-27, I'm going to go with it. 29-28. Joanne Wood versus Luana Carolina. I'm going to be going with um, Joanne Wood over Luana Carolina. Um, Joanne Calderwood, her name is as well. Well, a lot of mix up of last names here in this very in this video, uh, especially the women's. Um, I'm gonna be going for John Wood, Luana Carolina. Like I get it, she lost to McCann and she got brutally badly knocked out cold, but shit happens, you know. You know she beat Lupita Godinez, Poliana Batella fight. She's just not really impressive or that good, for that matter. She's not really great. Let's be real. She's not that good. And, um, she's not good at all, realistically. Um, I think she'll lose to Joanne Wood, who's not looking great recently, but Lexa Gross is now the champ. She's now the champion. Both of these women's overtaken over a year off. It was the last fought in March of 2022. So Lexa Gross is now the champ. Tyler Santos is now the number two contender. Both look good against Shevchenko. Like, it's not bad. And Luana Carolina doesn't have much of a grappling game. She kind of just clinches and outstrikes her opponents. I think Joanne Wood's uh, good against the clinch. And I think she'll outmuscle Luana Carolina and get, like, a close 29-28 decision. She should have won against Laura Murphy. You know, she beat Jessica I, lost to Maya, whatever. She beat Andrea Lee. She's good. Joanne Wood's pretty good, and I think she'll win this one. We move on up the card. Um, Jake Hadley versus Malcolm Gordon. I'm going to be going for Jake Hadley here. 
by a submission. I think I think he'll get a submission. Um, yeah, um, I think he'll get it done here. Um, Malcolm Gordon's good. Um, he was hand he, he was hanging with Muhammad Makayev and arguably can win one of those rounds. Round two, I think it was against Muhammad Makayev. I think he'll lose to Jake Hadley, but put up a bit of a fight. I think Hadley, but more. I think Hadley will put up more of a fight. No, I think Hadley will do better against Gordon than Makayev. Um, I think Hadley wins this though. Like he beat Carlos Candelario, lost to Nascimento, whatever. Um, shit happens in your debut, but he's kind of put on, put on. He's kind of put on a bit of a a winning streak for himself now. He beat Carlos Candelario, of course. I think he'll win here against. Um, uh, Malcolm Gordon, I think he'll win this one by submission, round two or three after a competitive fight. I think Jake Hadley gets that one done. We move on. Christian Leroy Duncan versus Dusko Dijovic. I'm going to be going for, um, Christian Leroy Duncan here over Dusko Dijovic. Uh, Christian Leroy Duncan's very, very good. Um, I... I can't. This picture looks exactly like him and LeBron James. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know why that is, this topology picture of him, but he's 27 years old. He was supposed to fight Jesse Taylor, but Tessie Taylor hit, did a hit and run. What an idiot himself. And so they just signed Christian Leroy Duncan for this card. Against two, though, um, yeah, um, Dasko Dijovic, he's fighting. Um, he beat Jordan Wright, but Jordan Wright is just not impressive. Like, everyone can beat him at this point, other than Jamie Pickett, of course, that um, he uh, beats by first John TKO. But the blueprint's been set on Dusko. Like, he can get chinned. You know, he's, he, like, Gregory Rodriguez beat him. Um, Punelli Soriano beat him. Chidi beat him. And these guys are not really looking good in their own careers. Maki Patolo beat. But he's beating the, da- like the, like the lower down, down people. Like the lower of the low, lowest of the lowest people in the middleweight division, in Jordan Wright and Maki Patolo, who's not even in the UFC now. Jordan Wright's not even in the UFC either. So all these guys have been cut. Daquan Townsend cut. Like I think Christian Leroy Duncan's really good, and he showed that against that one guy, uh, Dejati Melon, Mel- not Melon, Milan, and Justin Moore. I think he gets this one done. Will Curry twice as well. First John TKO for uh, Christian Leroy. We move on. Lerone Murphy versus Gabriel Santos. This is going to be a long fucking prediction. Full car predictions. But I'm going to be going for um, Lerone Murphy here over Gabriel Santos. Gabriel Santos stepping in for Nathaniel Wood. Um, he's being good opponents in Jose Delano and uh, Marcio Marboza. He's looking good. And he beat Elvis Brenner as well, who beat Zabar Tukagov. Recently, um, I just don't think he'll beat Lerone Murphy. Like he could get it and maybe pull up an upset and become this new guy. Like he's ten and zero. Obviously, Gabriel Santos Mosquito Mosquitino is his nickname. Twenty six years old, but I just don't see him beating Lerone Murphy, who was training for a tough, tough opponent in Nathaniel Wood. I don't. He hasn't been in there a while, so if I'm Santos, short notice here. Look for that early blow in the first round and get it done. But I just don't see him winning. Maquan Americani beat. Supposed to fight Jordan twice. Pulled out against Lanware and Wood. Well, Wood pulled out. Um, I just think he'll win this. He beat Ricardo Ramos and Douglas Hill, the Andrade. Look good against Tukagov himself. Um, I just think he'll win against Gabriel Santos by... By... Um, What's it called? I think he'll win this one by, uh, oh shit. My predictions have been revealed. I'll get to it, though. Um, he'll win by decision. I think he'll get it done there. Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll move on. Moving on. Up the card. Uh, Muhammad Mikhaev versus Jafel Filho. Um, I'm going to be going for Muhammad Mikhaev by dis- fuck. decision or sub. Don't know yet. Probably going to be on decision, though. Um, I don't know why they keep giving him these debuters. Like, we should look at, like, a Tim Elliott versus Muhammad Makayev. I don't get this, but he's finding this guy, I think. 
And uh, I don't think this Jafel Philho guy will win. I think he'll lose. Get beaten up on the ground. He's pretty good. He beat uh, Roy Burt, Eshia Vieira. That last one by third round to Gail. He's good. But I think Makayev will win this. Makayev hasn't been impressive. Like, of course, we just mentioned it. He beat Malcolm Gordon by armbar in the third. But the Charles Johnson fight, even in the Malcolm Gordon fight before the armbar, out of nowhere... He's just not impressive. And Charles Johnson, like, he won that fight. But on damage, Johnson can maybe win. But Makayev won it, I think, personally. I think he won that with a lot of takedowns. He just ragdolled Johnson. But according on damage, Johnson did more. But I don't think Johnson won it. I'm not going to say that or anything. It was just closer than what people think it was. I saw uh, maybe Cody Durden, which was a bit of a fluke, in my opinion. If they, if, if that, if they run back a rematch... Makayev probably wins, but it wouldn't be like that. It'd be a decision which is close. Makayev slightly out, uh, Makayev slightly out edges. I'm gonna go for a decision here for Mohamed Makayev. I think he'll just ragdoll Jafel Philho. And yeah, we move on up the card. Sam Patterson versus Yanel Ashmaz. I'm gonna be going for Sam Patterson here by first round Rina choke over uh, Yanel uh, Ashmaz. You know, Ashmaz is good, but he's not Sam Patterson. He's from Israel, which is pretty cool, but... I, I, Dennis Hughes' fight's just not impressive. And he gave up his back a lot of times in that fight. And I think Sam Patterson is going to is gonna try to put on a statement in his debut. 26 years old, his nickname's The Future. I mean, so many fucking UFC fighters have their names The Future. Ian, Gary, Macy, Barber, lots of them. So it's, I, I don't know if I can really call you the future, but I think he'll win this one because he beat Vinicius, Sench- uh, Vinicius uh, Sensei, Sensi, or Kenchi, I don't know that name. Uh, Vinicius Sensi, he beat in that last one. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, he beat good guys as well at Brave CF. Like a Kamel Magomedov, 14 and 1 guillotine. He'll get a first round Rene Kachoka, in my opinion. Ashmaz will try grappling with him, and Patterson will snatch the back and reverse it or something. I think he wins. We move on up the card. Chris Duncan versus Omar Morales. So let's move on faster, because I don't want this video being like a 40-minute video. Let's be real. Uh, my phone will allow it with the storage. Um, I'm going to be going for Chris Duncan over Omar Morales. I think you got to have big power to just put away Duncan. Because Duncan seems like he has a bit of a chin issue. Um, or like a... Yeah. He has good stand-up offensively. He got the win, obviously, over uh, Charlie Campbell. Um, and he was pretty good there. But Campbell dropped him badly. You know, Campbell dropped him badly in that fight early. Omar Morales just doesn't seem to have any power. And I just don't think he wins in general. I mean, he's coming off losses to Uros Medic by KO. You know, he just had to be the most active. Just to Jonathan Pierce. So if even if Duncan, is, if there's any problems on the feet, he can take it to the ground. Shane Young and Gabriel Benitez are just past it, especially Shane Young. Benitez is hit and miss sometimes with his with his wins and losses, but I just don't see him winning. And Dong Hyung Ma is just cut from the UFC. I don't even that name just that was at the way back in my mind that name. Um, but Kiki Chikedzi beat him as well. I think Duncan can go out there and get maybe a few knockdowns to secure some rounds after maybe a, a bit, after it being really close. I can see it going like that. Don't see him getting a KO, but I don't see him. But I can see him just winning a decision based off the knockdown. So I'm gonna go Chris Duncan here. Um, Vitrasov Borshev slept him, and that's just aged horribly. So I think if he fights like a power puncher, I'll I'll leave I'll, um leave that in mind. His losses or his loss of each lab and his um his chin in general. But Omar Morales, I think he'll win against. Moving on up the card to the not the main card yet. Jack Shore versus Marquana Mirkani. Gonna be going with Jack Shore. Um, he's a heavy favorite. Jeez, he could get Dars. Or where Maquan, Where does he go with Maquan? He could get Anaconda, because that's a, that's a McQuan 
Amir Khani's uh, specialty. Um, and that's his signature move. I just think he'll lose this, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Pl- I'm just not gonna trust him getting that. And it's Jack Shore. Jack Shore's pretty good. He's smart. He knows what he's doing. He's 16 and 1. Only losses to Ricky Simone, where he actually did very well in that fight before getting dropped and arm triangled. And it's Ricky Simone. You know? He beat Tamir Valiev. Timur Valiev. He beat. Should have been a draw. But Valiev's pretty good. And he beat Ludovic Shalini as well. I just think McQuan's gonna. I don't see him gain the takedowns. On, uh, I just don't see him getting the takedowns on Jack Shore. So I think he needs to KO Jack Shore and pull it off, something like that. <coughs> because obviously he beat Mike Grundy, but it's Mike Grundy. And Pierce beat him. Murphy KO'd him out cold. Things happened, though. I know he was looking good with the grappling there, but... I think Carmella Kirk beat him. And Shore, I don't think I'm a Quan. Shore probably will be winning this, but McQuan... No cardio, McQuan. He just has no cardio. He has, like, first round's cardio, and he gets put out. Or he just sl- slows it down. Other than the Murphy fight, where he got kneed in the face. We didn't really tell there. Get to see what happened there. I just think Shore will melt him in round three and get the finish. We move on to the main card. Marvin Vittori versus Roman DeLidzi. I'm going to be going with Marvin Vittori over Roman DeLidzi. Just, this is an IQ test. Not even a fight for Vittori, realistically. This is an IQ test for Vittori. Just don't shoot a fucking takedown. And you win. He's not gonna get chinned by, from Delidzi. By Delidzi. Delidzi has power in his hand, but Vittori's chin, as we know, is always gonna hold up unless a big bomb lands on. Like an Nganu. Other, like, like, like a... Like a freaking, unless a sledgehammer or something hits his chin. And he go and it just hangs off. Or an Nganu punch. But, Delizzi's not going to chin him. Most likely not. I think Vittoria will hold up here. Just, I don't see Delizzi out grappling him offensively. I think the only way Delizzi wins is he has to pray Vittori shoots for a takedown. Or he hurts Vittori on the feet. But I just don't, I just think Vittori can just... One, two in that range and make this boring. I really think that can be a case. Vittori, just one, two, make this boring. I just think he'll win against Delidzi. You can stop the takedown, so unless Delidzi's good. I know he KO'd Phil Hodge, but Phil Hodge's knee was destroyed. So I'm, I just. Delidzi's like a. Like, I think. I just think Vittori wins this. I think he can win this one. Hopefully, Delidzi wins, though. We need to do blood at the top. We need Delidzi, Adesanya, Delidzi versus Pereira, Delidzi, Whitaker. We've seen Vittori against these guys, Adesanya, twice now. No, not Pereira, but we've seen everyone versus... Outside of Pereira, we've seen these guys... Um, we've seen these guys fight at the top. So, we need new blood. Vittori wins, in my opinion. 29-28 decision. Maybe Delizzi has a good round for himself. 30-27 I'm going to go with, actually. I'm pretty confident in Vittori here. If he, shoots, if he doesn't shoot takedown, he jabs out range. He's not that good, Vittori, but I think he can do something. I think it's a good game plan here. If he can do that, he's smart. If he doesn't do that and shoots for a takedown, he's an idiot and he's dumb. Twice there. Moving on up the card. Jennifer Maya versus Casey O'Neill. I'm going to be going for Jennifer Maya as an, as an underdog. Casey O'Neill, I think just she she's hyping that and she talks on Twitter, but it's just she's not that good. I'm gonna say that. I know she be. I know earlier in her career she got good performances against Antonina Shevchenko, Laura Prokopio, Shayna Dobson, but those girls have no fucking clue what to do on the ground. Roxanne Montaferri, who isn't good either, and has been set. Who has been losing lots. Roxanne Monteferi. You know, she was able not to get finished on the ground. Roxanne Monteferi. And Casey O'Neill didn't even shoot until the later rounds. Jennifer Maya is really good. And I really highly respect her skills. 
because she's very, very good at what she does. And um, she beat Marina Moroz, who was kind of good at the time. I get it. Fiorot beat her. Competitive fight, Fiorot wins on strikes. Casey O'Neill striking against Roxanne Malaferi was something to be. That was something, man. Something, and not in a good way. Something. You know? Like, it's just. She's not good. She needs to get the takedown. If she strikes. She could outstrike her. Uh, she could outstrike Maya. But I highly doubt it. She's not Fiora. She's not Shukagian. Maya will outbox her, I think. I think Casey O'Neill will try shooting, maybe get Maya down. But Maya's got slick BJJ, unlike Roxanne Mataferi or those other female fighters Casey O'Neill's beaten. So, yeah. I think she'll win it here against, uh... Like, Joanne Wood was trying to outgrapple her. Boom, armbar, done. Lost her title shot because of it. I think O'Neill wins this one pretty easily. No, not O'Neill. I think Maya wins this easily. 30-27 decision. Underdog prediction. Maybe 29-28. Who knows? Maya's good, though. I think she wins. We move on up the card. Gunnar Nelson versus Brian Barberina. I'm going to be going for Gunnar Nelson to get this one done early in round one. I think he can get this one done. Um, Brian Barberina just isn't good. You know, like, he beats Robbie Lawler, and he beats these guys, Matt Brown, and it's good, and it's cool, but... Those guys aren't grapplers. They just aren't. They aren't. They're not grapplers. You know, they're not grapplers. RDA came in there. Boom, easy win. Round two, but he was dominating the fight before and round one as well. You know, Lawler won't shoot a takedown on you. Matt Brown won't. Weeks won't. Jason Witt will, and he did it. He was out. He was able to outgrapple Brian Barberina, whether the scorecard or not. Randy Brown beat him. Luke K beat him. Um, I think Nelson will win this as well. And plus, Nelson was trained for Daniel Rodriguez. And Rodriguez and Rob Arena kind of have the same style. Let's be real. Boxing. Swinging. You know. It'd be an interesting fight between both uh, those two. D-Rod and Bob Arena. But I'm going to go for um, Gunnar Nelson to get this one done. Yeah. Minus 375. I just think he wins this. And I think Barbarina got the call because it's in London. It's, all, it's probably going to be on the main card because it's, Nels- it's Gunnar Nelson. And um, it's now a never for him to make a move. So I think Nelson wins this one. First round RNC. We move on to the comment event. Justin Gaethje versus Rafael Fiziev. I'm going to be going for um, Rafael Fiziev by second round TKO. Early. Not like an early stoppage, but like early in the second round. I think Fizia, I'll make it two. I'll make the individual in deeper prediction videos for both the, this and the main event, which we'll get to. I think Fiziev's going to chew up the body of Gaethje. Chew up the body of Justin Gaethje. Chew up the legs of Gaethje. Fiziev, this is the worst fight for Gaethje. And Gaethje. Outside of the grapplers, usually you need to grapple to beat Justin Gaethje. Oliver kind of got there first, and he dropped Gaethje, and he beat Gaethje on the feet, kind of, and rocked him, even though Gaethje kind of got the better of it, because he dropped Oliveira twice. I think he'll win here against Gaethje, chewing up the legs. Gaethje can chew up the legs, but Fiziev will check. Fiziev will, will counter the leg kicks, put a, land some shots back. Gaethje won't land body kicks. Fiziev will. Gaethje won't land head kicks. Fiziev will. Gaethje can... Fiziev also can land some leg kicks and calf kicks. Gaethje can check. Fiziev can check. Fiziev has the amount of same power as Gaethje. Maybe Gaethje hits harder. And maybe has that power to put you out cold. Fuck the plane. Fuck the plane. I hope the plane fucking dies. Seriously, I'm sorry. Um, Just so fucking loud. Um... I think Fiziev wins this one. And Rock skates you have a head kick after setting him up. Setting him up. And Rock him against the cage and lands big shots and puts Gage down. Going to be a good scrap. Hopefully so. We move on to the main event. Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman. Three. The trilogy. I'm going to go for Leon Edwards. I'm going Leon. I have to. You have to go Leon Edwards. Kamaru Usman 
has a chance to win this. And I get he was winning the last one. The last fight. Before getting head kicked KO'd. But Edwards is going to be massively improving. He's going to be in the gym. You know, I think right after the fight, he celebrated whatever. Monday, back to the gym. It's all fun. <laughs> Monday, strict. Boom. You know, back to the gym. Same with Usman. But Usman had to recover from a KO loss. And same as last time where he had a broken hand, injured hand. He has it to this one as well. Leon's going to get it done, I think, man. I think he'll do it. He's an underdog again. He was he was losing the last one, I get it. Usman's fault for coasting. He got flatline KO'd, and he won't be the same. No way. No way. Fighters get KO'd, TKO'd. They're probably not the same after. Fabrizio Verdum, after losing to Miocic, wasn't the same. I know it's different, but still. Who wasn't the same after getting KO'd out cold? Rock Cold wasn't the same after losing to Bisping, and that was a TKO kind of KO, but Usman got flatlined. For real, flatlined. Bisping Rock Cold was kind of like, oh, he got dropped KO, but then he woke up back up again. Usman got fucking boom. Out cold. On the chin. Shin to chin. You have to pick Edwards. I think Usman, I don't know if he KOs him again. Boosman also got taken down in the first fight, as you remember. And it was altitude. The first time as well in Utah. This is in the home city. Not exactly, but the U- home country of Leon Edwards. He's from Birmingham, not London. But yeah, I think I think Edwards will win. I think Edwards will win this one. And I think Usman's going to be patient. Try shooting for some takedowns, get them stuffed. Edwards will kick up Usman to the body and legs. Usman probably will lose round one, lose round two, good round three. Now have good round four. It's 2-2. Two, two. Who will win the fifth? Edwards will push. He'll win the fifth round. Landing head kicks again, but Usman's idiot. It's not, he's not going to set him up this time for a KO. He'll just land them. I think Edwards will win this one. And it's in the UK. And, if he got, if he, and I hate to use his argument, but I'm going to use it back for people here. If you want to be the champion, you got to beat the champ. Bang. Headshot. Dead. Edwards wins. And the judges probably will favor him as well. Because he's a new champion. And it's in the UK. Like, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Edwards wins, I think. And that's the full car predictions. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah. Peace.